Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Shannon New Crazy Diamond Parts 1 through to 5. I think it's 1 through to 5, or whatever it was from side 1 of the album. Um, using the Helix and the Variax. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to show you what I've got set up for Global EQ. So, I've got a low cut at 70 hertz and a high cut at 7.6 hertz. And just some people have been mentioning um, about stuff sounding a bit trill in places. Um, so those are my global EQ uh, settings anyway. So, on with the um, tones. So the first thing I'm going to take a look at is the intro. Um, I'll show you what I've got set up pedal-wise for everything. First, it's uh, over eight snapshots, so it's quite a big one. Got a volume on there, um, always set them to logarithmic. And then a red squeeze, and for the intro, this is going to be at seven. Um, 90% on the mix. Then we're coming straight down into the usual preamp. Gain on four, level on eight. Always set to the line setting. And the amp we're using for this one is going to be the US Deluxe Norm. After doing a bit of research, um, there was a period that uses high watts in the studio for this. He used a Fender Twin. So I've got the drive at six, bass at four, mid 5.5, treble at four, presence three. Uh, master up full. Everything else is just set as it as it comes out of the box. Err, uh, cab. Um, we're going into two who what cabs for it. Um, 4 by 12s got an 87 condenser on one, one inch off. And the other is 87 condenser, 12 inches off and 60% on the other reflections. Um, Got the old uh, rotary vibe down on the split path, um, as well as over here, got the um, script mod, the phase 90. Then got an EQ, some delay, and the reverb. I usually play reverb uh, for this setting. So, just for the intro tone, all we've got going on is some compression, preamp, amp, into the speaker cab, and a reverb. So, what you'll have noticed is um, the tone knob down to 3.5, and it's all automated through um, uh, through controllers um, for the Variax, Spank 5 for the intro. So we'll take a, a little bit of a listen to it and um, see how it sounds. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, the intro sound. Uh, move on to the next bit. I've entitled it Sid's theme. It's the famous four notes. Um, now, I set up all my patches to play along to backing tracks that I have. So there's tons of guitars on this recording. Um, so it's set up to play along to what I consider to be the main guitar parts. So for this one, go spank one. So um, just a strat on the bridge pickup. Going into the red squeeze 2.2 and 90, and we've got some distortion via the uh, Minotaur gain 1.2, so really low, 5 on the tone, 6 on the level. We're then coming into the script mod uh, note sync for half, 46 beats a minute, uh, mix 50% at plus 1 on the dB, preamp um, into the US deluxe normal, and uh, nothing will change with uh, the settings on the amp, it'll stay the same throughout all snapshots. Same with the cab, um, and then we're going down into the rotary vibe, or the vibe rotary. Um, it's on the slow speed, ramp the horn up a little bit on it to 10, and it's 40% in the mix. Um, there's all sorts of speculation as what he used, whether it was just um, a phase 90, or a univibe, or a combination with a Leslie, but this seems to work for me. Um, Okay, we're dipping some of the low gain out of it. Uh, we're boosting the mids and we're boosting the highs. Delay sets to 16th notes, uh, 35%. Um, 3.6 on the well and flutter, 23% in the mix trails are on. 
um, and we're using the transistor tape, it fits the time and era. And then a healthy dose of reverb at 38% for this. Okay, so we'll take a listen to this. Okay, so there you go. Uh, it sits the so moving on swiftly. Um, the solo tone straight after that. Um, it's going to be on the spank five. The, the tone just rolled off down to seven. A little tiny bit of compression and a little bit of distortion by the compulsive drive. Only on 0.8, but we've got the tone rolled right back and the low peak on version four, level seven. Then the rest is going to be the same down on the preamp, the amp, the cab. No, um, no modulation or anything like that. No EQ, no delay. And we've got uh, some nice plate reverb going on. So let's have a listen to this. Okay, so the next one, um, just before the second solo ends, he kicks in a distortion pedal. Um, so all we're doing is everything's staying the same other than rolling the tone up full and um, adding a little boost on the gain and upping the tone a bit on the compulsive drive. Um, it's going to stay on the neck pickup um, and then the last very few notes it's going to switch to um, the bridge pickup. So I'll just flip it over with the with with the uh, controls on the actual variax itself. So let's have a listen to this. Okay, so the next one, uh, it's just over the synth solo, there's a lot of chord stabs and some um, sliding tenths, um, not much going on with it, a um, little tiny bit off the compulsive drive, that's all on the low peak on version 2 this one, so everything's changing via your snapshot from controllers, uh, the same bit of play reverb, the amp's going to be the same, a little bit of compression, um, quick listen to this one. Okay, there we go, not much to it. So the next solo three, so quite a lot going on with this one. So if we have a look, we're on spank one, tone up full, good dollop of compression, and a fair old bit of gain from the compulsive drive, tone is on four, and low peak version four. Down into the phaser, set to 100% on half note at 52 beats a minute. Uh, that's the same, that's the same, cab's the same, rotary vibe, up to 60% on the slow setting. EQ, taking out a tiny, tiny amount of high and boosting the mids. Um, now, the plate reverb boosted the pre-delay right up on it um, and lowered the decay right down 38% on the um, mix for this one. Trails are always on as well. So, have a little listen to it, and, uh, see what's going on with it.
So there you go, that's that one. So, moving on. It's just the rhythm sound, really. Yeah, it covers everything uh, from the fills, the little chordal bits. Um, I've not put in a harmonizer because there's the on the backing tracks I use, the harmony guitars are added um, already. So I don't need it on there, but it'd be easy enough to put one in. Um, and it sounds like he's playing in thirds, and there's an octave as well. So, distortion, 0.2 from the compulsive drive, tone on 3.8, low peak version 4. Well, that's the same, that's the same. Got some EQ, taking out quite a bit of the highs, but boosting the mids quite a bit. And the reverbs, um, again, quite a bit of pre delay on it, all the way up to 200 milliseconds. Yeah, just a bit more decay on this one, and 34% on the mix. So, um, just play a little bit from it. Okay, so that'll cover uh, pretty much everything you need right the way through up until uh, the saxophone solo. So it's pretty much the same as um, City, other than we don't have any distortion, we're on the neck pickup. So it's just a little tamer sounding, um, but all your um, phaser and your rotary vibe are in there, delay again on 16th notes. So everything is pretty much set the same, just no distortion really. So we'll have a little listen to uh, what's going on with that. Right, so there you go, that's that one. So that takes you through the entirety of the first half of what's on the first half of the album. Um, I have got another set for the slide stuff for the slide solo and what goes on um, on the second half of the album. Uh, if people want to see it, just let me know. If you think I've done a good job, like it, give us a thumbs up, put a comment in, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to be working on is some Jeff Beck stuff or Eric Clapton stuff. 